Hello, my name is Mitch Floor from Source Fabric, and today's screencast will actually illustrate how you can use one of the Source Fabric sample templates for an empty new scoop installation. How it's easy to just basically pick one of the designs and add it to your site. Um, I will use the Usha Hidi cooker as an example, um, but there's quite a few of designs available on the sourcefabric.org website. You just go under products, new scoop, templates. And then you will see a series of templates. For example, the journal, that's the one that's being offered on the installation to say, do you want to install a sample publication? Then the journal is the one that will come up. Uh, this is Ushahidi Cooker. There is New Sport. That's another one that um, is a Wu theme design. And there is the journalist. This is one that we are currently working on to develop a version 2.0. You'll hear more about that in a few weeks, but we will now concentrate on the Ushahidi cooker. So the idea here is that you can basically organize maps into categories. For each of these templates, you can see that after an introduction, there's also an online demo and a download template pack link. If you click on this, you can actually download a tarball which contains all the um, database and the sample templates and the whole design with images and everything. After you've downloaded this, you log into your empty installation. The admin is login. Password was actually set by you in the installation process. And you can see on the content, if you go to publications, there is no publication. So after you download it from the template site, you go under Actions, Backup Restore. This is a place where you can actually uh, make backups of your running new scoop anytime you want, but you can also use it to actually install other existing databases for your new scoop. And this is exactly what the sample template pack is. I go Upload Backup File, I browse, and I pick here the Ushahidi Cooker and I save. So now I'm actually uploading um, the tarball to the new scoop installation. After this is done, you can see it's coming up here. And now if I click on restore, you have to be careful a bit because you're actually deleting the other content. If you click on restore, you will actually install this sample template as a publication on new scoop. Let's just click it. Do I really want to do this? Yes. Now comes a pop-up window, which is uh, white. And you can see at the bottom of this that something is actually happening. Um, this process takes a little bit of time. The larger the sample publication is, the longer it takes. You just bear with this uh, window as we do right now, because it's actually um, ex extracting the tarball. It's um, deleting the database, installing the new database, deleting the template files, kind of moving the template files from this tarball into the right directories, kind of creating kind of the whole environment. So it does take a little bit of time. And once it's done, it will actually alert us with um, a pop-up window if I remember correctly. So I cannot cut these screencasts and I don't want to cut these screencasts. So that's why I'm running out of things to say right now. Still transferring data from new scoop, still trying to wait for new scoop to finish the process of replacing the existing stuff with this. So now I get this uh, confirmation. I click on Resend. And I can click Close here on the pop-up screen. Um, now if I go on the content, Publications, you can see that the Ushahidi cooker is now installed as a publication. If I go to Configure Templates, you can also see that the Ushahidi cooker templates have actually appeared on new scoop. Um, one thing that you might need to do in your case is that after you install the sample template, you need to go to configure. And there's something um, in the um, publication that's called the um, site aliases. Most I mean, it's most likely that you're actually using some URL on which new scoop will be accessible, something like 
uh, I don't know, crisismaps.org or something like this. So you need to go to edit aliases and actually I can delete those ones. I don't need them. I have uh, my Apache set up to just use Newscoop as the domain. And if you add a new alias here, something like crisismaps.org, Newscoop will actually know that if a request comes in for this URL, that Newscoop is supposed to handle it and it will actually know now that um, the Ushahidi cooker publication and template is the one that needs to be served. So I have Newscoop here on my test site. After installation it says like the site allies Newscoop was not assigned to a publication. This is the default setting because there's con no content in it. But if I now click on reload, the site will actually come up with the content. So it's that simple. Go to Source Fabric, download the file, go to admin, actions, backup restore, upload it, restore it, then go to publications and add under configuration your domain um, as um, a site allies. Yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for listening, staying with me while it's been trying to install forever and ever, but you see it worked. Thank you very much. Bye.